Today I'll show you a comparison between Android 15 and iOS 26 and this is not about the device itself, this is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5 and the iPhone 16 Pro Max so they are a bit of a, not exactly the same generation of devices the biggest difference between these two phones is how they get unlocked the iPhone has the the iPhone has the Face ID so I can unlock with the Face ID and Android has fingerprint usually the fingerprint sensor on Android phones is usually somewhere here but on my Sony Xperia phone it's on the side here on the power button I find it more convenient like that there is a difference this was they they are not released on the same year now there is Sony Xperia 1 Mark 7 and this is iPhone 16 Pro Max it's going to be 17 Pro Max soon so that's the difference between them the phones are both both of these phones are really great phones and I want to show you the camera so with the with the Android, with the Sony Xperia 4, you have the camera from the Sony and then with the iPhone, you have the iPhone camera. The Sony phone has uh, two separate apps for camera and the iPhone, they are all together. First I had the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and then I got the iPhone 16 Pro Max and I actually like both of them. Each, each phone, each system has its uh, strengths and weaknesses. This is iOS 26 and here it's Android 15. So Android versus iPhone is more of the operating system. Now the iOS 26 has this liquid glass transparency feel while the Android is really speedy. I like how fast it is. I really enjoy the speed of the Android. And it's Android 15, Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. And you see everything is really, really quick. Everything is fast. So if I open the settings, on the iPhone, you see things are a bit, a little bit faster on on the Android, I believe. So if I would open the settings now, you see the animations on the iPhone. The iPhone has a lot of animations and there are ways to reduce animations on iPhones, but it's always gonna look like it's trying to do some kind of a dance. So the cameras really, <coughs> The cameras really are pretty pretty good for both of them. Both of these phones have pretty good cameras for photos and videos, so it also depends on each model. In general, Android, it will depend it will depend a lot on which Android phone you're comparing the iPhone to. And also the iPhone, this is iPhone 16 Pro Max, so it has the best cameras at the moment, but iPhone 16 has less uh, powerful cameras so this is also the arrangement of the cameras iphone has this stove top system and android phones they have lots of options you could have the camera for android phones you could have camera arrangements in many ways really a lots of ways but for iphones you either have one lens two lenses three lenses something like that so yeah the power button also the volume buttons on the android phones they are on the right side usually together with the power button while on the iphone you have the volume buttons on the left side and you have the power button on the right side now the iphone has a camera button my xperia also has a camera button actually it's the other one that was here the camera button but uh, even though my, my Xperia had a camera button before, I enjoy the way it works on the iPhone more. The iPhone looks more pleasing, but the Android is faster. Everything is much faster on the Android and the developer options on the Android also are pretty, pretty good. On Android, you have the option for this navigation with the buttons like this where you can close the apps, but on the iPhone, you don't close apps. Supposedly, you leave them in the background, that they go into some kind of hibernation mode. I'm not sure how good that is, but actually, I don't close apps anymore. I got used to it. On iPhone, you don't need to close apps, but if you do, if you do want to close them, you can do that swipe up gesture. On Android, you can also enable gestures. Android phones, they can also have the gesture navigation similar to the similar to the iPhone. You can also have the gesture navigation without these buttons, 
but let's see this is the most common way to have the navigation also the keyboard also a big difference between android and iphone is gboard the google keyboard works much much better on android it really works perfectly you can have the clipboard history but on iphone you, gboard doesn't work very well so you have to use the keyboard from iphone i like both of them but if you want speed and good prices and there are lots of variety and openness so you can install apps multiple apps on multiple phones the android is a really better option for iphone you have face id while the iphone has the the android has a touch id there are many options, but it really depends on what you... If you like animations, go for iPhone and design. If you like speed and the prices, go for Android. I wish my Sony Xperia phone was a little bit wider. It would be like the, the iPhone. But the newer versions of the Sony Xperia have a wider screen. Thanks for watching.